F155 front mounted night vision optics. Uh, in brief, this unit allows you to turn your day scope into a night vision scope just by attaching it onto the front end of your optics. Uh, it works on a wide range of uh, scopes that are on the market. You do get um, the shims and adjusters for mounting it to different uh, sizes of uh, scopes. Um, overall, easy to use. I managed to set it up within a few minutes, um, but I'll show you uh, how to set it up in a second and uh, tell you a bit more about it. Right. Then. So this is the uh, Pulsar F155 in this bag here. It has a built-on three-step IR and the remote control. And you'll also get these scope ring adapters, which is what mounts onto the front of the actual optic itself. It's very important that you put this on completely flush to the optic, as into your actual housing. Um, so there's no actual movement in it and that you select the correct shim as well so quite literally all you've got to do is put that there out of the way if you've got a uh, lens protector on the front of your optics just remove that just so you know weapon is safe I hate having to say that every time but somebody will say something so this is the adapter as you can see there this literally, because I've got the uh, correct shim selected already, the first time you do it, actually, I'm going to say this, I recommend you actually fit the unit so that you can get the shim and the unit completely butted up like that and make sure it is completely level. It then just locks on. You, there's an Allen key here that you can adjust up. It's just enough so that when you do pull that lever back, that is fully locked on and it is not coming off. That's how easy it is to install, quite literally. Uh, take your lens covers off, turn the device on, and that's it. That literally is installed on the rifle. As long as you've butted that up completely against the front of the scope, uh, everything will work fine. I've checked zero with this, and there's no real adjustment on zero at 100 yards. And when you want to take it off, the unit literally just comes off, and you do get a lens cover so you can leave the adapter on and just pop the lens cover on so you can carry on using it as a day optic as well. One thing that you do need to be aware of with this unit is it is working ahead of your scope so on your recorded footage which is going to be at times on magnification you're not going to see any crosshairs it's going to be the same magnification throughout whatever distance that you shoot. So. Obviously, if you're taking a shot at a 200-yard fox, it's only going to be on one times magnification. Um, the built-on IR is bang on out to around about, I'd say, 175 yards. Um, it worked well for me. After that, I added um, a PBIR on quite a spread low setting and also tried the T67 Evo uh, from Torch Factory on... Um, quite a spread low setting and that helped out to about 250 uh, identification wise for your targets I'd happily shoot rabbits out to 150 yards with this unit um, foxes probably about 200 yards after that because you're obviously zooming through your scope onto an actual screen um, you too do tend to lose some of the clarity of the image obviously because you're zooming in onto an actual screen. Um, the focus on top which is here, when it's mounted on the actual unit uh, it is accessible. Uh, me as a right handed shooter uh, could easily reach around and uh, adjust the focus accordingly. Um, it's easy to use, the remote control helps a lot because on this actual remote control here you can do all the menu settings by pressing and turning this end. Uh, you can turn the unit onto standby. Uh, not only that, you can adjust the level of the IR on the actual built on IR here, um, the three step IR, and you can also uh, stop and start recording. So you can either mount this onto the side of your rifle or keep it in your pocket or wherever you want to put it, 
and just press the button and it'll start recording. But please be aware that when you do record, it is only on times one magnification. Um, so the longer shots, obviously, aren't going to be quite as visible as using a rear-mounted uh, night vision system. Um, overall, it's easy to use, uh, even for somebody like me. I managed to, to get it fitted, get it used, check zero, and uh, actually put it out there into practice. Um, over the next week or so, I am going to try and do some foxing with it, fingers crossed. Uh, we did see some last night with the thermal, but uh, seeing it with the thermal and then seeing it with this is a different kettle of fish, because obviously the thermal can see uh, things a lot easier than IR dependent uh, night vision. Um, with regards to scopes for using this for, all of the work for the IR is done by the actual unit, so you haven't got to worry too much about having an IR dependence like a scope that accepts IR well through the lenses because you literally are just focusing in on an actual screen. All the work is being done at the front by the unit. So like, I use NVUK kits and I put it on the back of the optic, the camera's looking through the scope. If the scope won't allow much IR light through, then that obviously causes an issue. With this, all of the work is being done by the actual unit in front of the scope and all you're looking at is the screen at the back of the actual device through the little aperture which is behind this rubber covering and that lens there, that's what you're focusing on. Um, I am impressed with the unit, um, it would have been nice to have been able to see a bit further with it, um, but I think the average shot taken at night on foxes is between 1 and 200 yards anyway, so I think it'll be, uh, I think it'll be ideal for that, for those that want to keep a, a day mounted optic permanently on their gun and then just add the additional night vision. Uh, it is a heavy unit once it's on the actual uh, rifle but then again the battery life is actually really good on it. I mean I had it on last night for two and a half hours and I've still got half a battery left if not a bit more. Um, but yeah I think it's a good unit uh, I think if they could put that technology into a rear mounted unit so that the actual work of the uh, clarity of the image is being done by the scope and then just the night vision capability is being done at the back by the actual device and you're looking at a screen on the back a bit like an archer for example I think it would uh, be amazing On a quick note with regard to uh, IR sources I tried um, both the PBIRX and the T67 EVO Turbo uh, with this unit. Now, the visibility range of actual being able to see with the IR was easily, easily out to 600 yards uh, with both the PBIRX and the uh, EVO Turbo. Um, you wouldn't shoot out to that range at night, uh, the clarity's not quite there for that, but for spotting and picking up an eye shine, um, you, you will easily pick up uh, eye shine from a fox. I say from a fox, not from a rabbit, but from a fox at that range. Um, if anything, the uh, the Evo and the PBIR are very, very bright on this unit. Um, the sensor is very, very sensitive to the IR light. Um, but uh, it just goes to show that that difference between using a rear mounted NV where a lot of the IR is being cut down through the scope and the forward mounted uh, night vision that, that difference of how they use the IR has actually surprised me quite a lot um, overall the unit is it's, it's bang on if you want to keep day optics then you can keep day optics and mount this and just use it for your night shooting whenever you want like I said out to 200 yards 150 200 yards on bait stations and this and that and you'll get some good footage with it um, but I will say again remember it's only going to be a times one magnification and oh, that's at whatever distance you shoot so obviously it's not going to zoom in uh, overall though cracking little unit uh, I do recommend it for them that don't want to use uh, rear mounted systems or top of the screen systems like uh, Night Sight or NVUK or anything like that if you've got the money to spend on it then uh, 
I'd go ahead. I'd, I'd buy it. Um, if you wanted the dedicated night vision, you've got the N three five five, I think it is, uh, which they've bought out the Digi site, and at least that way you're looking directly at the screen, um, so you're not losing any of that quality uh, by looking through the optic then at the screen. Um, but overall, really good unit. Uh, they do the uh, one three five as well, which is a, a slightly smaller unit. Uh, works on lower magnification scopes um, but yeah yeah I'm gonna crack on and uh, keep using it up until the 5th or 6th of January and uh, see what footage I can get for you thank you very much